Full Twin Audios. Stories created solely with the vintage soul in mind. O-T-R-T-S-T-A. What story can I connect you with today? I don't really need a story. I just wanted information. Very well. Tune your radio dial to anchor.fm slash soul twin audios. That's S-O-L-E. Soul Twin Talk, a backstage pass into productions at Soul Twin Audios through guest interviews, commentaries, promos, and featuring your teasers and trailers. I've spent the week continuing to work on that special top secret episode, but I've also been trying to focus on increasing my listenership. In addition to creating some new artwork, I created a new trailer, which I'm about to play for you in a few minutes. But first, I'd like to give a shout out to everyone who was involved in helping me make the trailer possible. Glenn Haskell, who has been involved in so many of my productions. You heard him in That Thing in the Window, and we'll get to hear him in the upcoming audio drama, A Tale of Tyranny. He's also involved with other companies like Audio Theater Central and Misfits Audio. Diana Kennedy. She can be heard in upcoming episodes of Salubrious Falls Phobias Unlimited. She's definitely a very talented voice actress, and I'm looking forward to working with her more. Bethany Baldwin, who I believe you'll also get to hear in A Tale of Tyranny. And she also won first place in my second season of Tyranny's Tales of Terror, the audio drama script writing competition. And I'm really looking forward to producing her script for you. John Bell. Oh my gosh, what can I say about this guy? He's been one of my staple actors from the very beginning. And when I say the very beginning, I mean from the very first production company I ever had, the very first episode I ever produced. And I believe that was called Wisp of Memory Theater. And it was Evening Primrose. He's so incredibly funny. He's got his one-man show podcast called Bells in the Bad Free. If you haven't heard it yet, go listen to it. Anytime I feel like my day is rotten, I just put on this audio clip that he jokingly auditioned for uh, for a role in Phobias Unlimited. Hello, it's Anna from Shuri Meadows returning your call. Zoo Zoo's pronounced Zoo Zoo. There she's all here, and you can pick them up any day this week except Sunday. Hello, ma'am? Hello? Are you there? No, no, this is wrong. What, no, what, you gotta, what do you just mean? get no, out of here. No, no, it's wrong. Just I leave me. This is the most preposterous thing. I'm sorry. Apologies. Won't happen again. Sharon Grunwald. Sharon is a phenomenal actress and has been instrumental as the host of Patchwork Classics. And I, I, I can't wait to work with her more. Dean T. Moody is another one of my staple voice actors. You've heard him as the announcer in Old Time Radio Theater. He's been in some of the episodes like Ghost Hunt, The Lottery. You'll get to hear him in The Little Prince, which I'm looking forward to all of you hearing. And he's just an amazing guy to work with. So if you haven't worked with Dean yet, you really should. Ted Bjorndal, who you've all heard as Douglas, who I've also had the opportunity to work with on another project, we were in this Doctor Who Snatching Victoria from Defeat by Jarvis B. Chavez, uh, and I did the mixing work on that along with some of the voice work. I, I voiced the companion. But Jarvis needed somebody for the the role of the lizard men. So I sent out the call, and of course Ted was the first one to answer, and I sent that off to... Uh, Jarvis and he's like yeah we're gonna cast him Ted is amazing and like I said he's usually the first person that answers the call when I need quick lines or something so kudos to Ted work with Ted Ted is awesome Carl Nordman he's amazing uh not only is he a wonderful voice actor and you can hear him as the uncle in the turn of the screw but he also designed the artwork for me for Tyranny's Tales of Terror and it's just it's just phenomenal Claire Jacobs is another star and my protagonist in Salubrious Falls Phobias Unlimited. And you can actually hear her in the first version of that episode, 
over on either anchor.fm slash soul twin audios, or you could probably still find it on mutual audio network. And that was part of the uh, transcontinental terror. Justin Fife, another amazing, outstanding actor who you'll get the opportunity to hear in Rope as one of the leads. He also has several roles in the upcoming episodes of Patchwork Creations. Dylan Horanek, he is... He's a really cool guy. He and I have been in several productions together. Not mine, but, you know, other projects together. Uh, what What is the name of that thing called? Uh, Disappointment Theater. Yeah. So Disappointment Theater is like reading negative Yelp reviews, but put together as a podcast. And he and I have had uh, opportunities to, to do some of that together, which is just funny you should check that out too but yeah look for dylan as the host in patchwork creations pete lutz is another one of my voice actor producer friends who i often cast in projects you heard him in fugue and c minor ghost hunt and you'll get to hear him in my favorite episode of suspense dan ware is an actor who i'm just starting to get to know uh, I cast him recently in an episode, the first episode you get to hear for Patchwork Creations. It's part of a double feature, and his part is called The Reunion. You'll also have the opportunity to hear him in Book 2 of Salubrious Falls, where he takes over the role of Alistair Bellamy. But in the meantime, you've probably heard him in spots for the cottages that I've played before in the past. Brittany Rydell is another actress who is becoming a friend. Uh, very unique voice. The moment I heard it, I knew that I had to cast her in a specific role in my Four Rhiannon series. Uh, I'm just going to tell you right now. Raggedy Ann, you'll hear her voice and you'll go, Oh, yeah! She does. She sounds like Dee Dee Khan. It's so awesome. She is uh, just a lovely person and I always am happy to chat with her. I've met a lot of talented people in the voice acting community on Twitter who connected with me to submit lines for this trailer. Max Lindsay, Brody Linton, David Gilton, Chris Ferns, Catherine Gonzalez, Diamond Matthews, Alex Boy, Stephen Lynx, Faye Holiday, Tim Odio, Jose Sean Rees, Seth McCollum, and Jesse Hofford. Thank you all again for being a part of this trailer. What is Old Twin Audios? What is it supposed to be about? What is Soul Twin Audios? What's it supposed to be about? Now, 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 I've heard of this Soul Twin Audio thing, but I know nothing about it. What is Soul Twin Audios? We got a late-breaking news story here. What is Soul Twin Audios? And what's it supposed to be about? It's the question on everybody's lips. What is Soul Twin Audios? Soul Twin Audios? Never heard of them. Of course you have, Cecil. Isn't that your rival company? Oh, wait. The one that produces programming similar to mine. You'll hear adaptations. You'll hear original stories. You'll hear recreations from classic old-time radio shows. Soul Twin Audios. Stories created solely with the vintage soul in mind. Check out any of the six series my umbrella company offers at anchor.fm slash soul to an audios. You'll also find us on Spotify, Apple, and YouTube. Of course you have, Cecil. Isn't that your rival company? Those bums? We'll take them out if we have to. <laughs> no, I don't have a plan, but we'll come up with something. Before I move on to the interview and the promos and the review... I would like to give a very special thank you and shout out to Katie Denard, who actually took my What is Soul Twin Audios? What's it supposed to be about? She took that and decided that she was going to surprise me with her trailer for Soul Twin Audios. So without further ado, here is her trailer, which I'll probably end up including on YouTube. While I really like my trailer and all the work that we all did on it, her trailer it, it it has a different tone to it. It's it's really good. And obviously I feel like there's there's room for more than one trailer. So again, thank you so much, Katie. I really appreciate it. What is Soul Twin Audios? What's it supposed to be about? 
You really want to know? Well then, buckle up and just keep listening. Like moving staircases that lead you to a different destination with an entirely different story every time. You can't condemn a man to die for writing a few lines of poetry. Uh, should we go inside now, Dr. Reed? I was about to suggest it. Now, how do we hunt ghosts, Doctor? How, how do we do it? New characters to get to know. Don't you want to take my money? Ah, uh, oh, uh, sure. Y yes, yes, of course. Uh... Mean new stories for your pleasure. Take your ears on the grandest adventures you have yet to hear. Listen to Soul Twin Audios today on Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify, and Copy RSS. You won't regret it. Joining me in the studio today is Ross Bernhardt, our composer. You'll remember him from episodes like Short Order, Ghost Hunt, The Lottery, and one of my favorites, Jane Eyre, which I produced for Dream Realm Enterprises for Showcase Classics. Since 2021, you've composed quite a lot of music for us here at Soul Twin Audios. What has been your favorite production to work on and why? Uh, that's a hard one because I've enjoyed all the shows I've written. Uh, I'd have to say that I uh, enjoyed Jane Eyre the most, though, because it was a multi-episode project, uh, so I got to write more music. And the episodic, the episodic format allowed me to develop uh, musical themes from episode to episode, and I could transform ideas from earlier ones to later ones. So I really enjoyed that process. a little bit about your process when it comes to composing for audio dramas? My process has changed a little bit over time. When I first started out, I didn't have a sophisticated software and I would write theme songs for transitional music and then the producer would fit them into the mixing. But now that I have a better system, uh, I prefer to have the producer mix the dialogue first and then send the track to me to insert the music. Uh, that way I get an idea of the show's mood from the voice actors as well as the script. And it allows me to time the transitions more precisely and do my own crossfades between music and dialogue so they work more smoothly. I can also time the number of uh, measures of music I need that way with the tempo and the space of time between sections that we need. So I have a more clear idea of how to uh, fit in a precise musical structure. Uh, I use Mixcraft digital audio workstation software on my computer, and I have a library of thousands of virtual instruments that I've downloaded or I use from a subscription service. And I use mostly classical symphonic instruments since I'm trained as a classical musician, uh, but I've done some shows with synthesizer sounds or instruments from other cultures as well. And the tracks in the workstation are laid out just like recording tracks and recording software. It's laid out like a musical score uh, from top to bottom. And I input the instruments one at a time from my piano that's hooked up to the computer. I usually come up with a bass line or a main melody or a chord progression first based on the number of bars of music that I have to deal with. And then I layer and add instruments from there. I try to make the instruments and harmonies fit the mood of the show, and I particularly like to create motifs that come back in different points in the show that get developed from one spot to another so that they're uh, memorable to the listener, that there's this particular sound in each show that they can lock onto. 
What other projects, either audio dramas or other productions, have you worked on? I've written several shows for Pete Lutz with Narada Radio Company, who's right here in Corpus Christi. I'm a university choir director uh, here at the University in Town when I'm not doing this, so I've written a lot of choral music and uh, instrumental music for live ensembles. I currently have a commission from a professional choir in Cuba to set three sonnets by local Cuban poets to music for choir, so I'll be uh, starting to work on that very, very soon. Do you have any recommendations for stories within the public domain or an old-time radio episode you'd like to hear Soul Twin Audios produce? It may not be in the public domain, but I'd love to write music for Forbidden Planet. I've actually mentioned this to uh, Pete Lutz at Narada Radio before. It's one of my favorite movies, and Caltech's Radio Theater in Australia did a radio version back in the 50s as well. So that would be really cool not to just recreate the old music, but write new music uh, in that sort of style. Uh, The original War of the Worlds novel is public domain, uh, so even though the new scripts uh, may be uh, copyright, if you went back and did a new script for that story, like you've done with some other classic novels, that would be really fun to write for as well. I was also watching an episode of Perry Mason the other day, and I saw uh, guest star Carl Swinson, who played uh, Mr. Hansen on the old Little House on the Prairie uh, TV show. And I was looking up uh, information about what he had done in theater. And I saw that he was in an old 40s radio show, a uh, detective show called Father Brown. He was the title character of a, of a uh, priest or minister uh, playing the detective role. So um, I haven't really listened to them, uh, but that might be something interesting to take a look at. Ross, thank you so much for joining us today. And I'm sure we all look forward to hearing more music from you. There are very little things that scare me nowadays, but I've always been terrified of the water. Good afternoon, I'm Detective Sergeant Jack Sherwood. After all these years, Merlin Murphy. Jess Murphy, please. What are you doing here? Something tells me you think there's more to this investigation. You're looking for... monsters? I will warn you, it can get a little dangerous. Creatures even I have yet to encounter. Can't all be real. Can it? What secrets are below the waves? Do you trust me? I haven't seen you in 20 years. Of course I can't trust you. I'm not going to let something happen to you. What are we diving into? Monsters, cryptids, the third kind. These creatures are real. Where do we go now? Wherever the monsters call, I guess. Um, hello. Uh, may I ask what this is all about? It's complicated. Murphy, a new audio drama, coming soon. Today is the very last day you can make a donation to their Indiegogo page. So if you'd like to make a donation, I'm going to include their link in the show notes. Clap your hands and shake off the morning dew. I'm Amelia, and we're going away with the fairies. Fairies in folklore are one of the most popular topics, but did you realize fairies are also prevalent in modern media? Those old tales influence everything from tweets to movies. If you aren't seeing fairies everywhere, you probably aren't looking. Or you need a stone with a hole in it. Those do help. So join me at Away With The Fairies, a new podcast delving into all things fairy. Follow on Twitter at Podcast Fairies and subscribe now. And now our featured voice artist, Raven Anderson. You can't go hunt Bigfoot? Curses! My weekend plans are ruined. Also, if you're driving a train, you can't cross a railroad crossing at the same time as another train. That one feels like common sense anyway. You know, we got to talking about dumb laws, and this is the path we're on. Oh, honey. You know she ain't got a pot to piss in, bless her heart. Let's not talk about him now. 
He dumbered in a box of door nails. Complicated place this one. Very complicated. So many auras and the weeping fates and those damn cockroaches. Once upon a time in a far away land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish and unkind. But then one winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. Welcome, sir. I see it's your first time. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll treat you so nicely, you'll never want to leave. What are you waiting for? Come on, sugar. Knock, knock, knock. Am I too late? I'm too late, right? Damn. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I got caught like way uptown and my cell phone went out. Then my heel gets stuck in one of those sewer cover thing whatevers. Then there's this guy from the train. I don't even want to tell you about him. Then it starts to pour. I get soaked right through to the skin. My usual luck. You can get in touch with Raven on Twitter. Find her at Raven Anderson VA. If you like all things spooky, then check out A Spooky Tales, hosted by us, Christina. And MJ, where we talk about all things spooky, like paranormal stories, haunted places, myths, and legends. With a focus on Latin America. There are new episodes every Friday. Listen on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you get your podcasts, as well as at SpookyTales.com. Stay a spooky. And now, our featured audio drama review. The definition of weird is suggesting something is supernatural or uncanny. While the definition of distraction is a thing that prevents someone from giving full attention to something else. Mix both of those words together, add a millennial with a mic, and you have Weird Distractions Podcast. Weird Distractions is a weekly true crime, paranormal, conspiracy theory podcast hosted by me, Alex. Each week, I tell you what I need a distraction from before diving into a topic to help me distract myself from, well, whatever is going on. My my hope is that you too can get a distraction from tuning in and maybe learn something on the way. From haunted hospitals to cold cases and every bizarre online theory in between, there's a little something for every weirdo out there. If this sounds up your alley, then join me every Sunday on your favorite podcast platform or search Weird Distractions Podcast on any social media account. Need a distraction? I got you. Back in 97, I became enamored with the ship that sank in 1912, and we had James Cameron to thank for this. He threw Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet on a ship and played out the doomed story of a Romeo and Juliet type adventure. And we all loved it. That year was the year of the Titanic, which spawned a musical and a miniseries with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Tim Curry. Yes, that year I was my school's expert on all things Titanic. Now, as I'm sitting here searching for which podcast to review next, I came across Weird Distractions, this wonderful, informative series about all kinds of different conspiracy theories and mysteries. While we're on the subject of distractions... There's my distraction, but we're just going to roll with it. So anyway, as I was saying, I see they have an episode dedicated to the Titanic, and I'm in. I love that Alex incorporated as many of the theories I know and love. We're talking about the mummy and the futility by Morgan Robertson, which was written over a decade before the Titanic sank, and many, many more of these theories. I don't want to give all of these away because I want you to go and listen to the episode. I look forward to hearing more from them. I'm a subscriber now, and you should be too. This concludes our episode of Soul Twin Talk. I look forward to talking with you again next week. Be safe. Be happy, and always remember, I can do anything, I can reach any goal today, I can do what I want, I can be what I want to be. You've been listening to Episode 8 of Soul Twin Talk. I'm your host, Rachel Pulliam, and I'd like to thank my guest, Ross Bernhardt, for being with us here today, along with the production company who sent me a promo. 
the team for Murphy. Don't forget to donate to their Indiegogo page. We are distractions. Away with the Fairies podcast, E Spooky podcast, and Raven Anderson for sharing her demo with us. Special thanks to the 25 people who lent their voices to my trailer. John Bell, Glenn Haskell, Bethany Baldwin, Diana Kennedy, Sharon Grunewald, Dean T. Moody, Dylan Horneck, Ted Bjorndal, Carl Nordman, Max Lindsay, Brody Linden, Claire Jacobs, David Giltonen, Chris Ferns, Catherine Gonzalez, Diamond Matthews, Justin Five, Pete Lutz, Alex Boyle, Stephen Links, Faye Holiday, Tim Odio, Jose Sean Rees, Sean McCollum, Jesse Hofford, Brittany Rydell, Dan Ware, and Katie Denart, who went above and beyond creating a new trailer for us. The Soul Twin audios and Soul Twin Talk themes were composed by Ross Bernhardt, with incidental music by Storyblocks and Freesound.org. The new trailer music was composed by Kevin McLeod.